in what's going on it's your boy Fontaine VIP soundlab.com and in this video we're going to show you how you can import your custom made drum kits and tag the sounds now as you can see right here we're in the machine 2.1 software and basically I want to show you how you can tag your drum kits add your types your banks and your filters so as you can see right here on the desktop what I did was I made a quick test kit I call it test kit to tag now in the test kit I just you know copied and pasted uh, some sounds and you know as far as hi-hats kicks percussion samples you know just basically using it as a test dummy kit so I'm going to show you how to import this kit and how you can uh, tag and filter these these folders so then that way it makes life easier when you're inside machine as well as on your hardware controller so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here under file then you want to go to preferences you want to go to library when you press library factory and user comes up on your preferences menu you select user this is where your drum kits are going to show up once you import them now I'm being lazy with mine right now because a lot of times I use the uh, the files menu a lot of times that's just me <laughs> you know I mean I, I like to go under that menu and you know I go through my sounds but when I get time I come in here and I do add my uh, my tags and filters and stuff like that but anyway let's go ahead and add the uh, the test folder the location is on the desktop so let's go ahead and uh, grab the test kit to tag we highlight the kit we press OK comes up like so as you can see right here it shows the location from the desktop test kit to tag and here's your folder alias here I'll just put a uh, test kit so I'm gonna erase it anyway all right then from that point you press rescan and just that fast it import the kit very quickly because there's hardly anything in it now of course depending on the size of your drum kit that might take a little bit longer okay now as you can see right here under the library tab where your projects your groups and your sounds instruments and effects are located you have a sample icon here and you have an NI symbol here this is for the native instruments library this little guy right here it looks like a little picture is for a user library so when I select here user library samples that's why these types and filters are coming up so when I select all samples here by just clicking that you see that the test kit appears here with a blank uh, wave icon where the uh, imaging can be put on any drum kit that you import we have a video on that you can take a look at that also on the website we have the custom drum kit images you know if you want to add them to the drum kit libraries that you've been getting off the site or we have templates as well as you if you want to make your own custom imaging you know again this is for people who are new all right so for example if I also select the test kit to tag you immediately notice that it comes up test kit to tag now as you can see right here there is no imaging uh, that's showing up right now because it's just completely blank it's brand new it's just imported you know as far as like other kits they have the imaging when they come up as you can see right here it has a nice VIP sound that logo and a nice little image for the kit okay but again we have tutorial videos on that now you notice that you have the all banks menu that comes up right here okay now from this point it's showing every sound that's in this little test kit okay now it has a drop down menu here where you can browse through each individual kit like so from your hi-hats your kicks and snares and again you can browse you know drum kit sounds that way as well but if you want to make it a lot more accessible a lot more easy to uh, get to these sounds from your hardware controller you use what's called your tags and your filters okay so let's go for example let's go down to where it says edit okay you immediately notice that your bank okay your types and your properties show up like so okay so you have an icon here where you can turn your sounds on and off to uh, actually hear the sounds in real time I would suggest turning this off when you're doing your filtering so then that way you don't get annoyed now one way to do this you want to go into types now the kit is called test kit to tag so basically here's what you do to make life easy when you click on all banks keep in mind exactly what is inside the kit 808s and subs hi-hats kick samples snares synths, and toms okay so you say to yourself to make tagging these a lot easier without going through a lot of steps I'm going to show you a big shortcut so the first thing that's going to come to your mind is kick snares and the hi-hats that's going to always be in your mind so the first thing you want to do is think about what's different in the kit other than kicks, hi-hats, and snares, okay? 
cents, times, and 808. So I keep cents, times, and 808s in my mind. Okay, so I go down here. The first thing you want to do is you want to name the kit. Test kit to tag. Boom. All right. Now, these attributes or your types are in alphabetical order, which makes finding your kits very easy. So you know immediately, here's your test kit to tag. You go over here when you're narrowing it down now. Okay, so here's the name of the kit. Now you want to find the sounds that's inside the kit. All right, now remember, let's say one shot kick drums. We'll add that. Then you go down here to the plus icon. Again, this is what we're going to be narrowing down what's inside the kit. We'll add the snares. We'll add the hi-hats. And remember when I said keep in mind what's different in the kit? So immediately you know without having to look. 808s and subs. There was a, uh, a samples folders in there. Samples. And if you need to go back and remind yourself, you click here under all banks again. 808s and subs, hi-hat, you double check your work. Kicks, samples, snares, synth, and tom. So we, we know that we need to add the synths. Synths, and we want to add the toms. All right, so now we have all our attributes. Now we just simply unclick these, like so. You go back to your banks. Okay, let's go down. I like to do it generally in a sequential order from top to bottom. To me, that just works a lot easier than jumping around from folder to folder. So from top to bottom, we'll jump over to 808 subs. Now what you do is you hold down shift, you highlight every sound in that folder. Okay, you, you select test kit to tag. Why? Because that's the name of the kit. Now being that we did all the work here, we're basically gonna be flying down the line. So you can see how fast this can be. 808 and subs, you go into your properties, you know, if you want to name, you know, the vendor, the company, or whatever that case may be. I have mine already set up in here. Okay. And you press apply. All right. Then we'll go down the line again. We'll go to the hi-hats. Again, test kit to tag, hi-hats. We'll go to the properties like so. We'll go to the kicks. We'll highlight them all. Test kit to tag, make sure everything's on there, and it is. All right, kicks. Then we'll go down to what the samples. Again, we have samples here. Okay, we'll apply those. Now again, this is taking me a little bit longer because you know I'm doing the property. I, I should I shouldn't even worry about the properties right there, but. Okay, we're under what? Snares now. Let's grab some snares. You know, this makes life a lot easier. You know, when you don't want to have like multiple, because you know, if, if, you, if you have sounds that are like renamed, because you know, at times you can have folders of sounds and you can have, you can have sounds and folders and forget what's in there and you can accidentally you know, tag other sounds, you know, so let's see here. We're in the synths, so we're going to synths. We click up and last but not least, apply the toms. All right, so that wasn't too difficult, right? Fast and easy. All right, so now we got that done. Now we have this little X icon here, which basically, in other words, it's going to clear out what's in here. So when you see this little icon here, think just clearing it out. All right, the edit button here is how we're gonna shut down this little menu here, like so. You can see right there, test kit to tag now appears here under our browser. Now again, we don't have the imaging yet, but again, that's something that you can do. We go into all samples, again, under the sample tab, use the library. As you see right here, here's some kits that I've done already. As you can see right here, test kit to tag. Now when we click on that, you see that the filters come up, the 808s and subs, it narrows it down to what's in that folder. Hi-hats, it narrows it down to what's in that folder. Again, you have this little icon here when you wanna hear the sounds in real time. And if you're dragging and dropping sounds like this, for example, you also have an icon here 
that when you select that, it's gonna change what's on your sounds in real time. You see right there that says test hi-hat one. If I select here, it now goes to test hi-hat two, three, four, and five. When this icon here is off, and I go through the sounds, you see how it doesn't change, okay? And again, the sounds are muted because I have this little icon down here muted. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. You can see right here, here's the kicks that we did, the samples, the snares, the synths, and the toms. Now, again, depending on how you want to tag and filter your sounds, that's completely up to you. Like, for example, we have a new HD drum kit called the 10 Fingers of Death HD drum kit. Now, this drum kit right here, fam, is banging. I mean, we got all fresh, brand new sounds in there, completely crisp, fresh, brand new sounds. And the sounds in that kit are extremely, extremely loud, extremely powerful sounds. Head over to the site and you can download a demo of the kit. And I think I put like a couple of sounds in there, but you just gotta take my word on it. When you when you hear the kit, how amazing it is. I'll go through some of the sounds like right quick. You can see right there, there's some of the sounds. Now again, the way I narrowed this one down was I put 10 fingers of death down here again to me because it just made it a little bit easier. I like to see it up here under types, you know, the drum kit name, then I like to see, okay, 10 fingers of death. You know what I'm saying? Here goes the folders of the sounds, you know, from claps, crashes, you know, if I can select kicks, that narrows down to kicks, you know, here's the snares, okay, and the hi-hats. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into a, uh, a demo of the 10 fingers of death HD drum kit. Let's go ahead and uh, load that up right quick. All right, let's go ahead and check out the sounds. All right, this boy Fontaine, VIP soundlab.com. We have some banging drum kits on the site. We have a basic VIP membership. It's only $9.99, which entitles you to a, a lifetime subscription with us. We do not charge monthly fees each month. You know, we just do free machine tutorials and we have some banging drum kits. Each month, what we do is we send out free monthly goodies like free drum kits with, you know, it could be anything in those, in those kits from synths to sounds to you know, roads, motif type sounds, you know, any, any, and all things that pertaining, you know, to music and what a producer needs to, uh, you know, sharpen up his production. You know, we have tutorial videos on drum kit imaging. We have, uh, a lot of free sounds. We have a lot of controller editor templates, you know, for users who like to use scripts to control Ableton Live 9, you know, as well as other software, you know, with the machine controller, um, Ableton Live kits. We have contact you know, custom contact, five expansions, uh, you know, you name it. Just come by the site, you'll get a better feel for it. Again, that's www.vipsoundlab.com. Again, this was a member uh, tutorial request video, so um, I hope that that helps you out. You know, again, if it's still a little bit difficult for you to understand, come by the website, you can email me anytime, and I'll be more than glad to assist you with that. And maybe I can make another video, and maybe I can break it down in another way that might be a little bit easier to understand if you're having trouble understanding this video. But if not, then there you go. Peace.